Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is now time for the best real estate podcast online. It is time for Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live with Mike and Dave Elkins presented by Elite Realty Group. Here's some real estate info we're going to give to you today. All right, and you will want to make sure you're paying attention to this. Yeah. Because, again, this is good, straightforward info. This is info a lot of people won't tell you, but we're going to tell you. That's right. This All is right? stuff that you need to know. Absolutely. And again, you might not need to know it right now, but you might know somebody who does. Yes. And we're going to come straight. Here, straight from the horse's mouth. Here's today. our disclaimer. We're not giving you legal advice. We're not giving you financial advice. We're not telling you to do or what not to do. We are simply offering up our advice. Opinions and advice. Yeah. <laughs> Again, you can take this if you want I legal was, advice. I was ready to say bam. Go to an attorney. I was waiting for you to finish. So let's do it here. So if you want legal advice, go to an attorney. Bam! If you want financial advice, go to a CPA. Bam! But we're just here to have a whole lot of fun today. And we thank you for tuning in. So here's the first thing, all right? Here's the first thing. If you've been watching our shows and paying attention. Nick Perky says green apple and caramel. I love you. the green Sorry apple. Sorry, Yeah, see, you're starving now. Siobhan says, Reese, you kept, yeah, I'm watching this like They're a They're throwing for it. All right, here we go. Five reasons your home won't sell. First one. Bet you can't guess this one. First one. We have told you this over and over and over and over and over and over and over again, right? Right. But the number one reason, it's cut and dry, it ain't even close. The number one reason your home will not sell is because you choose to overprice it. Bam! Got it? Got yeah. it. You choose to overprice your house. Now, again, that's something you don't want to even venture down that road. No, right? do not. We are seeing now more than ever these overpriced homes killing people trying to oh, yeah. trying to sell. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're just hurting people so bad, again, because their home is overpriced. Right. To keep that from happening, do one of two things. There's two things you can do to solve this problem right up front. Mm -hmm. right? I was going to say bam right up front, but I didn't. <laughs> so there's two things you can do to solve this problem right up front. One, get you a realtor. All right. Have them to complete a market analysis on your home. That's going to give you an opinion of what the market says your house is worth. That's going to get you close. All right. Yeah. But you still got to listen to them. Number two is you can hire an actual true professional that does this on a daily basis. Yep. You can hire an appraiser right. to actually come out and appraise your house and tell you what it's worth. If, if you don't hear anything we say today. Don't overprice your house. Exactly. Kill you. right. it, it will kill, kill you. It will kill you. Yeah. It will definitely make it hard. That is the number one reason that homes do not sell, uh, and especially, down. yes, in the day and time that we live in now, it is the number one reason why it don't sell. So that's number one. Kim's been my bammer buddy on here. Bam. Gotcha. All right. Keep it going here. Number two. The number two reason homes don't sell is low showing availability. In other words... It's hard to show your house. Right. right. You ever experienced that? Oh, yeah. I, th I think I said it a while back. You know, it's, it's. I don't know why. It just seems like a thing right now. Everybody, you, not everybody, but, right. you know. A you, lot. A lot. You call and yes. it's just not, a, you, the, it, it's not the agents who have it listed. It's not, if it's my listing, it's not my fault. But, man, when your sellers just say, you know, it's actually just not a good day. Right. To let anybody come look. Right. You're thinking, are you trying to sell your house or yeah, not? Yeah, I mean, you know, I could see if I was, I could see if he was wanting to go look at it at six in the morning right. or nine at bad nine, time. whatever bad times. Yeah. yeah, but man, when you're wanting to come look at six thirty, yeah, and they shut you down, right? It's, it's a tough. hard thing. Yeah. So that will definitely keep people. Remember, if they can't see it, they can't buy. It. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's highly unlikely they're going to. Right. 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 They're they're calling, wanting to come and see it. One because they probably have an interest in it. Yeah, and more than likely, I think I said this before too, but you, yours is probably not the only one picked up on the list. That's, that's They've probably scheduled two yeah. or three. So if you don't get into yours, boom, you are eliminated. Yeah. You, you remember a story last <laughs> week about us telling you about uh, Dave had a showing of three people within an hour and a half on one listing. Right. Ended up getting two offers on the listing. Mm -hmm. It's going pending now, I'm assuming. Right. Um, so again, those things, but that house had to be available to get those people in right. at the time that they needed to get in there. Right. So, you know, again, this is five reasons, remember, why that your home will not. And if you're trying to sell it, you don't want that knot in there, right? No, no. You want it to sell. Well, that's, right? That should be the purpose. If you're just testing to yes. see what you can get, you're not real serious about no, no, selling. No, no. You know what I mean? 
No. And if you're serious, these are things that you're going to want to avoid. Right. Exactly. Don't price it too high. No. Overpricing is going to shoot you down, hurt you really bad. But, uh, again, low showing availability, it's got to be able to be seen. Mm-hmm. That's number two. Yeah. Number three, go ahead. I was going to go back to overpriced for just a yeah, minute. Go ahead. No, go back. Because uh, that is the biggest. It's the biggest by it's far. The biggest. But, you know, you hear people. I, I've had people whose listings that I've gotten or listings that are coming, right. I guess so to say. But, uh, uh that's one of the biggest questions. Yes. Know, they, I know there ain't a whole lot of inventory out there. Right. Now. Should they I price it higher? Yeah, let's yeah. price it up. Or yeah. Anything I can get for it. Right. Okay. Yeah, the numbers might say you can get right. you know, 200. You think we're off for 240? You know, put right. up our 240? Yes. We can always drop. Right. You can come down and can't go up. Right. Right. But, you know, then, then people, they don't realize because everything you do is questioned. Yes. Uh, I feel like Butch Jones sometimes. Yeah, there's a process. We're questioned here a lot. Yeah. But, you know, because they're going to say, well, wonder why they dropped it $40,000. Right. right. wonder what's wrong with it. Yes. Well, nothing. We're just getting it back down to where to sell yeah, now. Where it needs to be. Right. Right. So, okay. Sorry so, to go back to, so yeah. go back to the that, That's again. a big thing there that you got to watch out for. Again, these are reasons your home will not sell. Right. All right. Will not sell number one's overpriced, not in any particular order, but number one is oh, yeah, no, overpriced. Far, yeah. but number two that we gave you, again, not in any order, is this low showing availability. It's not available. People won't get their house ready to show. Number three is is homes are very cluttered. Now let me let me tell you a little bit here about what we do. And this is not just again, but what one of the things that we do when we list homes for people, um, usually once a month, time available to do this but we do what we call property tour all right and we take all of our agents that want to go we load up in the car and we go look at some listings that we have gotten within the last month and we literally evaluate those listings right we go in and tell the listing agent hey you know this is what we see this is the good the bad the ugly the indifferent so on and so forth one of the top things that is on that list that we see a lot of times that gets complaints is you can't see the house for the clutter. Right. Now, again, you know, I'm the pot calling the kettle black here, you know, right? Right. But, you know, if you're, if you're getting your house on the market to sell, declutter that thing just a little bit, especially the kitchen, those areas like that, your counter space. The less clutter you have, the bigger it's going to seem, the bigger it is, because right. there's just absolutely more room. But again, just cluttered space, the living room, the kitchen, the di- I mean, all of that. Right. It, it, it kills what you see of the house. Remember, people are not buying your stuff. Right. They're buying the house. I'm going to tell you something. That this is, this is, and it's not a bad thing. This is not a bad thing for, but you know what's a big thing? It's been going on for a while is that, uh, Coupon. Yes. Now that's big. You yes. know, people do that and there's nothing wrong no, with that. No, it's very no, smart no. to do that. Yes. But I have shown numerous houses. Yes. That you have rooms or two rooms. Right. That you can't even get in because yeah. of the coupon. Now right. it impresses people. Wow. You know, I mean, that's yeah. a definitely. I've a got 47 point. rolls of toilet paper in the, yeah. in the bathroom. Right. But <laughs> you're, but I'm serious. Like the people when I was with them, they was like, I mean, we can't even get over and look at the closet in this bedroom. Right. So, uh, you know that that that's not well. A, and a, it's not a good thing to, I guess, have it all piled up whenever right. you're trying to sell your house. Right. It's okay to do it. But think about it once you're selling your house. Get a storage building. That's what I was getting ready to say. A couple of weeks back, we talked about getting your house ready to sell. Mm-hmm. That should be one of the things you take care of that. Because, again, if you don't, we're giving you reasons today your house is not going to sell. Right. This is one of If they can't get in the bedroom that one of their kids are going to have to sleep in, right. there's a good chance they're not buying your house. Right. There's a good chance that that's not mm-hmm. happening. So, again, clutter. Cut the clutter. People you know? want to be able to access their house, yes. the house that they're you know, buying. They're going to open cabinets. They're going to open closets. It's just going to happen. They yeah. want to see. They, they want to see it. Feel everything. Yes, because they're going to be paying them the next 30 years of their life. They're going to be paying likely right. for this home. So they're going to want to see it. Five reasons we're giving you today. Don't get mad at us. Don't get right? mad at us. We're, we're just, just shooting you straight yeah. here today. We're giving you the bam. Yeah, we're giving you the straight. <laughs> From the shooter's mouth here today, we're giving you that. So we've talked about, one, being overpriced, Mm -hmm. two, being not being able to see it, low availability to show it, three, being it's cluttered, four, 
And if I was putting these in order, I'd put this as the second reason houses don't sell, by the way. But number four you'll want to write down is, is unpleasant odors. Now, this is touchy. This, this is, is touchy, touchy, but now this is true. But this is big Bam! time. Bam! This is big time. Yeah, yeah, this is big time. Unpleasant odors in a home. When we go in or someone else comes in, now here, let me let me talk about my house. Okay, I'll talk about my house. My house has my family's stuff, my family's smell, my my uh, Dawn dishwashing liquid, my you know fabric softener that my wife used. So it's got my family's smell in it. Yours has yours. Theirs has theirs. Right. But there are sometimes whether that be again, I got a doggy, I love him, he comes in the house. So on and so forth, but sometimes old bear comes in the house and bear stinks. Right. I got to do something about that. Right. right. Especially if I've got my home on the market to sell. When people walk in your house, two things happen. They form in their mind right then, right there. They form in their mind, I like what I see or, oh my goodness, what's that smell? Oh, yeah. And if there's a bad smell when you go in a house... It turns you off immediately. Got right another, I've got another bammer here. Uh, we really like bammed. it. We like it. But it turns people off immediately. Absolutely. One of the things, again, that we as agents, when we go do these walkthroughs, that's one of the big top items mm. that we say about these homes is sometimes we go in those homes and we're like, what is that smell? Mm -hmm. You know, first what impression. Is that? And we yeah. don't know what it is. Sometimes that could be mold. Sometimes we don't sometimes know what it is. But again, whether that be smoking, whether that be, um, you know, animals, whether that be mold, whether that be mildew, whatever that is, whether that just be dirty carpet, right. wet, whatever. Those are some things that, again, sometimes an air freshener. Yeah, buy some air. That's what we're getting. Yeah, at that's here. what I'm saying. Buy Not that your house stinks that it ain't going to sell. Right, but do something about it. Right, light a candle. Yes, you know, uh, Sabrina said this good point. Don't go overboard. Right, because some. On people, the other hand, some people's got like a real sensitive nose to air fresheners. Me, right here. And so, if it's in your car, or anything it. Drives them crazy. Funny story them about that. Out. Funny story about that. I walked yesterday. We went out after we shot our commercials yesterday. After we were shooting commercials in an office, we went out to eat. And I went in this restaurant. And, like, I opened the door to the restaurant. And they were doing these candles that you're talking about. Right. So as I went through, I was like, oh, my goodness, what in the world is that? It was this just overpowering candle. Right. On my way back out, guess how I walked out of the restaurant? <laughs> my shirt was up over my nose because it was awful. Right. You know, it was right. just too pa It was, bam, hit you right in the face. Right. You know, yeah. it got you just real quick. So, again, you're right. Don't go overboard on yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. And we'll say the same thing about, you know, and I know, again, this is where you get touchy, but about smoking. Yes. It, people smoke in the house. If that's what they want to do, that's their sure, choice. Absolutely. But there's people who don't like smoke. That's so right. just know that. Yeah. And again, there's where, again, a good air purifier, you know, uh, right. a candle, something's going to maybe potentially help with that. Again, we're giving you reasons today why, you know, these homes are not going to sell. So those are things, again, that you want to be on the lookout for because, again, remember when people step in your house, they're forming an opinion right then and right there about what's going on with that house. So number one is overpriced. Number two is you can't people can't get in to see it. Number three is cut your clutter down. Right. Number four is make sure you got the smell under control. Right. Again, you're probably, you know, everybody's house is probably going to need that candle lit. Yes. You know, it, for one, it gives you a homely, a homey Chocolate feel. Chocolate chip cookies. Yeah. Or something, yeah. you know. Just something to give it a fresh smell. Yes, there you, you go. You know, so don't don't uh, stress about it too much. No. But make sure that you're aware of it. Right, right. And again, we're, we're not saying that your house stinks or, or right. that it could or, or whatever. But again, remember, someone's coming in to look at it that's kind of outside of your scope. And again, we're giving you the reasons that we see when we go out there right. and look at these houses and take people out. On the, This is what we run into. You right. would be shocked yeah. at what we run into sometimes. All right, And some of that will always stay behind the closed doors. But things like this right. that you may want to be aware you of. You've got to put yourself in other people's shoes. And a lot of people have trouble doing that. Yes, absolutely. If you walked into a house and yeah. you thought it stunk, yeah. No matter what that smell is. Right. 
If right. it smells like, you know, yeah. whatever. And, and you, you may think chocolate chip cookies stink. You might think That's chocolate okay. Chip. Don't put a chocolate chip cookie out. Right. Just make sure your house smells good. That's what we're getting at. But that's one of the top five reasons. And I'm telling you, behind price, I'd put this right up there oh, with yeah. anybody else right. yes. as why things ain't happening. Mm-hmm. Because you go in and something ain't right. Yeah. You know. So, again, those unpleasant odors, you want to help. You want to get help with those. Number five. All right. Number five is... Being just an unreasonable seller. you know, And what I mean by that is... Unwilling to do anything. Unwilling to do anything. Like, this is what it is. I'm not going to do nothing. I'm not going to price it right. Yeah. I don't care if it stinks or not. I've got clutter laying all over the house. My They can walk over my dirty clothes. It doesn't matter to me. Right. I'm not going to let them see it this morning because I just don't want to. Doing all that we just said not to do... Just be, yeah. That's being an unreasonable seller. Mm-hmm. That's the fifth reason why, again, that your house. You don't want to negotiate nothing. if they get an offer. Or, yeah. You know, you, and you get those. You get yes. those ones that say, if they don't ask, you know, if they're not asking, if they don't offer what we're asking, I don't even want to know about it. Right. Right. Well, so, again, those are five reasons why your home may not sell. And we want you to make sure that you got that information. A lot of people, again, won't tell you this information because sometimes it's confrontational. Yeah. But you know what? We want you to know this. Bam. Because if you put your house on the market, your ultimate goal is is to get that bad boy sold. Right. Not just list it, but sell it. And that, that's, 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 that should be your realtor's goal. Absolutely. That's our goal when we list one. Yes. We tell people all the time, we don't list them to list them. We list them to sell That's them. exactly right. So, so we want you to know straight up. You want this information. So again, five reasons today we talked about your house won't sell. We thank each and every one of you for listening to today's podcast. Tune in for future episodes by subscribing to our channel and get the latest and greatest real estate information right here on Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live presented by Elite Realty Group. Until next time, have a great and blessed day.